Hey little badgers, I'm Burt Badger and welcome to Nice to Meet You. If it's your first time joining us, nice to meet you. Today, I'm at the MOD. It's a museum and we're here looking at all these cool installations that they have. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the episode when you get to see what's inside my magic fanny pack, my magic fanny pack, my magic whoop whoop, my magic fanny pack. Look at this room, it's gold. Isn't it so cool? And look at these pretty lights up here. They just go and they go and they go and it's so beautiful. And look, these gold are like little pointies, but they're mirrors too. Can you see me? <laughs> mirrors are so cool because you can look at them and you can adjust. You can make yourself look really cool. This place is so neato. It's neato. Neato Kino. It's gold. Is your favorite color gold? If it is, that's cool. Mine's pink. <laughs> Let's go check out another cool room. Come on. Now we're in a new room. What's this room look like? That's right, it looks like fall. Or autumn, whichever one you want to say. There's two ways of saying it. <laughs> but it looks like it's nighttime because over here we have the moon. But does the moon come out during the day or at night? If you said night, bonus points. Also, what shape is the moon? That's right, if it's, a, it's a circle. If you said circle and night, super mega bonus points. Boo, 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 boo. Uh oh, what's happening? It's changing, just like the seasons change. Look. Now we're in a fairyland. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at on the ground, there's butterflies and bubbles. It's just so pleasing to look at, isn't it? And this whole wall here. Wow, that's so cool. I feel like I'm flying through infinity. This is so cool. Oh look, jellyfish. And a magic butterfly. <laughs> oh, there they go. Let's go check out this room. It looks like they've got bubbles. Whoa, look at this. It's all these beautiful lights hanging from these wires. Whoa. This is so cool. It looks like we're in a dream, doesn't it? Do you have dreams? Do you dream about cool stuff? Like flying with a unicorn? Or maybe being the king or queen of a castle? Whoa! Sometimes I have dreams where I'm floating in ice cream and I just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. That's what this kind of reminds me of. What does this beautiful installation remind you of? What do you think about when you see something like this? Where does your imagination go? Are you flying on a dragon, trying to rescue somebody? Or maybe you're deep in the ocean, looking for a treasure. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Just look at this beautiful room and think about what it means to you.
All right, little badgers, I'm gonna do a really cool experiment today. I'm gonna get this red balloon to suck into this glass container, and I'm super excited. So we have to heat this up for one minute in the microwave. Okay, now I'm gonna put this red balloon over the glass container, and we're gonna see what happens. Kind of worked, I don't know, but this isn't going in my show. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, yes it is. <laughs> right when I lost hope. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. <laughs> you see how the pressure changed there? Wow, that was like really instant. That was so cool. I go, this isn't going in my show. <laughs> How cool. It's still expanding in there too. I can put my finger right in there. That's a neat trick you guys can do with your mom and dad or guardian or whoever looks after you. Wow, that was cool. I want to see that happen again. Ooh, watch out, it's kind of hot. Glass is a conductor of heat. It can hold in heat. Did you know glass is made out of sand? What? Isn't that crazy? If you heat sand up so, so hot, turns into glass. Did you get birthday balloons? <laughs> birthday balloons are so cool. I make sure to have at least four to five at my birthday parties. Birthday parties for me, balloons, or bust. <laughs> oh, it's look like it's going. Slowly but surely, this balloon's gonna go whoop, and it's gonna shoot down right into this glass container. The anticipation is building up. This better be pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> hey, cool. <laughs> Just needed a little bit of help. Hello, children. Today, I, Mr. Magical Spectacular, am going to introduce to you someone very important to me. It's my best friend in the whole world, Evelyn the Unicorn. Magical Spectacular powers I summon, Mjolnirhorn. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Magical Spectacular. I have terrible news. Oh, no. Well, what's wrong? I miss my unicorn horn. It's missing? Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, what shall we do? Hmm. Hmm. I've got it. Let's build you a new one. That's a great idea. Oh, I know. I'm full of great ideas. Will you help me summon some unicorn horn building supplies? Yes. Okay, perfect. With our powers combined, we shall man unicorn horn building supplies! <laughs> well done, Evelyn the Unicorn! You've summoned unicorn horn building supplies! We Tell us what we've got! We got markers, a tube, a scissors, strings, and tape. Perfect! So what we're going to do, first, so that I can build one as well, I'm going to cut the tube in half. Remember, children, always have an adult Use the scissors, because they're sharp, and you could cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. Right? Yes. Right. Oh, careful, Mr. Magical Spectacular. You don't want to go all over the place. Oh, my goodness. I'm making quite a mess, aren't I? Hmm. That's OK. Then I'll cut it long ways like so. You can decorate it while it's flat like this. Yes. Hmm. 
fish. Now I will do mine. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. There. There we go. Now, what sort of design are you going to put on your unicorn horn? I'm going to put rainbow designs. Oh, rainbow. Beautiful. Now that we've got our supplies ready, how are you going to decorate your unicorn horn? I'm going to do it with black spirals and rainbows. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Hmm. I think I'll do a blue background with yellow stars. That's a great idea. Thank you. I'm so excited. Children out there, are you excited to see our unicorn horns come together? So are we. Here we go. Let's see. I've got two colors. I've mentioned them before, but what color is this? Mm hmm? Hmm? Blue? That's right. If you said blue, you get a unicorn <laughs> horn. Now, let's begin. What color will you start with? Hmm, if I'm doing the rainbow, some, some rainbows have pink first. Oh, that's a wonderful rainbow. Well, I do need the black spirals, too. Okay, we'll start with black spirals. We'll take turns. Children, do you know how I draw a star? I go like this. Da, da, ha, ha, ha. One, two, three, four. What's next? Hmm? Five. Well done. Would you like to give them a unicorn point? <laughs> unicorn point. I've done my black spirals. Now I can do my pink on the top. Perfect. I love your stars. Oh, thank you. And your spirals are quite wonderful as well. Thank you. Maybe I'll do one moon. That's a great idea. Oh, thank you, Evelyn the Unicorn. I can't wait to give my unicorn horn back. What's the next color of the rainbow? Hmm? Hmm? That's right, red. If you said red, unicorn point. <laughs> now, where's the red? Oh, it's right here. I've finished my stars. Now, for a blue background. Yes. And it's okay if you're done before someone. Oh, yes, of course. It's not a race. We're all having fun together, building our new unicorn horns. What's the next color of the rainbow? Hmm? That's right, orange! Orange, well done. <laughs> so what Evelyn the Unicorn has said is that some rainbows can be different. Traditional rainbows are well and good, but you can come up with your own colors if you want to make your own rainbow. That's the important part about rainbows. That's right. If, if your crayon is not that well, just go get another crayon. There, that's good advice. And it's okay if some don't fit. What's the next color of the rainbow? Hmm. That's right, yellow! <laughs> Yellow's right here. Here's my yellow. And it's okay if your yellow doesn't show up that well. Mm -hmm. What matters most is that we're having fun. Isn't that right? Yeah, the fun is an important part about unicorns. That's correct. That's so correct, Evelyn. You get a mega unicorn horn! <laughs> Yay! Now, right. now we just need the green. Okay. Where is the green? Hmm. It's right here. Oh, well done. And also, Mr. Magical Spectacular can add some more blue or some more details. So sure. That... That's a great idea.
Let's make the stars look a little more defined. This is a good idea, Evelyn. Yes. And what's the next color of hmm. the rainbow? Hmm. hmm. That's right, it's blue! You get a unicorn for it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the color Mr. Magical Spectacular used. You can always add details like stars and swirls and, of course, unicorns. Wonderful! Oh. Now that I'm done, I'm going to make my corn into a corn, unicorn horn. Put that in so it's not too sharp. And then, of course, some tape. Of course, some tape. Tape is also made of magic. Yes. How is it so sticky? Hmm. Maybe the unicorns make it stick. Huh? Unicorns invented tape. I had no idea. Need the, the string. Go through the horn as well. That is very funny. Thank you. I love jokes. I was named funniest in my class at Wizard University. <laughs> Let's see how long we need to make it. Go oh, here, yeah, right there. Okay, so it'll be that there. We'll go here. Okay. Now that you've got your horn back, you can officially become a unicorn again! Me! I'm a unicorn again! Hooray! Now we can have a unicorn dance party! Oh, yes! <laughs> Like you're driving a spaceship through outer space. Come on board, let's drive through outer space together. Three, two, one, blast off! Are you having fun on our space adventure? Oh no, watch out, we're gonna crash! Whoa. That was close. We're almost to the planet that we need to be on, called Planet Zarnik. <laughs> Coming down for landing. Safe landing. We did it, little badger. Look at this room. It looks like we're in warp speed. Let's get back in our spaceship. Buckle up. Let's blast off. Three, two, one. Engage hyperdrive. Look, there's friendly aliens. Wave at them. Hi, aliens. Friendly aliens, and they're so nice. Hi, aliens. All right, let's have a safe landing right here. <laughs> Look at this room, it's so cool. It's like, kind of like Christmas time, isn't it? All these beautiful lights. What colors do you see? I see pink and blue and none. Now I see no colors now. And now, oh, I see purple and pink and blue. Oh man, this is so neato. Look at this. I don't know where this starts and where this ends, but I'm gonna put my arm all the way through there. Whoa. That was crazy. Here comes my arm. Oh, look at that cool red and yellow. Neato Kino. All right, let's go check out another room. Wow. This room looks like it's just got a whole bunch of lanterns in it. 
Wow, look at all these special colors. Isn't this really cool? I really, really, really like stuff like this. You can just look at it and use your imagination because this is art and art is whatever you want it to be. Whatever you think in your head. People will tell you what art is, but you don't necessarily have to listen to that. You can interpret art like this looks like a lantern to me, but to some people it might just look like nothing. I don't know, but I think that these look really cool. And that's what I think. And you can use your imagination to think that this is an intergalactic coffee can. <laughs> that's such a goose. But look at all these beautiful colors. And look at how aesthetically pleasing they are. Do you know what aesthetic means? It means something that's very neat and presentable to your eyes. Wow, this is so cool. Look at how beautiful this is. When you just approached me, did it make you so excited to see all these beautiful colors and all these really cool art pieces just presented to you? This is so beautiful. Sound effects song, oh yeah. When I run really fast, zoom zoom. When I jump really high, shoom shoom. When I do an air punch, pish pish. When I do air kicks, pish pish. I do sound effects when I'm a ninja master. I use stealth mode when I wanna go faster. Do a back flip in the water, going splash splash. Make my way to the hidden treasure in a flash flash. Got the lock pick to go, click click. Pull off the lock, snaps going flick flick. Thunder goes, boom, boom, wing goes, whoosh, whoosh, truck goes, beep, beep, pillow goes, koosh, koosh. When I run really fast, zoom, zoom, when I jump really high, shoom, shoom, when I do an air punch, pish, pish, when I do air kicks, fish, fish. Running with the treasure, running so very fast, climb off the pirate ship, dive off the top mast, swimming in the water. As the shark rolls by, I hold the treasure super tight as I say goodbye. Electric goes, ice goes, dog says, bark, bark, kitty says, use stealth mode to go and get a cookie. Gotta grab a chair, cause I'm short, not a Wookiee. Use stealth mode to go and get a cookie. Gotta grab a chair, cause I'm short, not a Wookiee. Use stealth mode to go and get a cookie. Gotta grab a chair, cause I'm short, not a Wookiee. Here we go again. When I run really fast, zoom, zoom. When I jump really high, shoom, shoom. When I do an air punch, pish, pish. When I do air kicks, fish, fish. Sometimes it's okay to just sit and relax and be in the moment. Do you know what that means? It means just taking everything in, taking a deep breath and holding it in, and hold it in, and then slowly let it go, and let all the air from your lungs out to make room for more new air. And we'll take another deep breath. And hold it. And now exhale. And get it all out. Don't you feel so much better? This room is so tranquil and so beautiful. I just want to take in all the colors, all the movement, all the shapes all the patterns and the animals flying around me, the beautiful moon, and just know that it's there and be one with it and enjoy it. Not everything has to be funny. Not everything has to be wacky dacky and crazy. Sometimes we can just sit and be with ourselves and be one with everything and just be in the moment. And I love being in the moment with you. 
And now it's time to see what's inside. My magic fanny pack. My magic fanny pack. My magic whoop whoop. My magic fanny pack. Whoop whoop whoop. It's a... Oh. <laughs> it's a Burt Badger headband. And it says, nice to meet you on it. Just like the Burt Badger on my logo. And on my head. Ask your parents to get you one. They're really cool. And they really do sop up sweat if you're moving, moving, moving. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye, but hopefully we get to hang out again really soon. I want to say thank you to the Museum of Dream Space for having us today. This place is so beautiful, and I'm so glad I got to experience it with you, little badger. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. I've been Bert Badger, and it was nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs>